So this afternoon, conversation came up about copyright and using your videos on someone else's YouTube channel. And I thought this would be a perfect topic and video to do. So if you may be new or not really sure how to deal with copyright, what other steps that you need to take? So welcome to Sid's Tips. Thank you so much for joining me. And that's what I wanna share with you, what you can do. There's a number of different steps that you can do. So first of all, you need to log into your YouTube studio on your computer. It will not work within the app. And once you do, you're in YouTube studio, you're gonna come on the left-hand side, you'll see their copyright. You're gonna click on that. And now you'll be in your channel copyright. Now you're gonna probably say, wow, I have a lot of videos, I didn't even realize this. Now you may have some videos that you'll see in here that you've given permission for someone else to use or someone else like I have marketed other companies' videos uh, with affiliate programs and it may show up this way as well. But this will really give you a good idea what's happening with the channels. So first of all, you have uh, several columns, you have matching videos, total views, date, channel, percent of match, so you can see what percentage they're using of your video uh, and their video and then frames this will give you an idea of what uh, the video is like and then like oh yeah I remember that so now if you really wanted to see like the most views you can click on total views and be like wow 2.3 million now this was a video that I was using to market with and so that number represents that person's video not yours that person's video and as far as their video you'll see here matching videos this top link that's the video on the channel that claims uh, is downloaded from your channel onto someone else's or it might be a match and then here is your video so I'm gonna go ahead and click on date and you could see here just recently I had a couple of videos uh, today is January 11th these were January 8th and 7th somebody decided to use my steamer videos and they have uploaded it to their YouTube channel. So as I mentioned, the top link is their video and the bottom one is mine. So here in this case, this is their video. Uh, my video is about 10 minutes long. So they broke it down to about four minutes and that's what it looks like maybe for the two videos they broke it into two different ones. But you can see here, they're also using my video with an Amazon affiliate link. And so to me, uh, without not even asking, uh, definitely I want to take action. And then in my video here, you could see I have a total of 10 minutes and 26 seconds, and I've got 12,024 views. So here, now, let's just say it's just the one video that you want to take action on. When you go to that line, you'll see all of a sudden the frames disappeared. That's in this section here is where you have action. So you can move it to archive and not do anything. You can here request video removal. You can add a video and then you could start going through the steps and I'll show you that in a minute. And then you can click submit once you're done. The other thing that you can do is contact the channel. You could put your email address and then they'll get this standard email and it says here, if you use another channel's content without permission, they may ask YouTube to remove your video. Re removal results is uh, a copyright strike against your account. The channel has provided its email address in case you want to start a conversation. So it does that for you. Now, in this case, I've got two of them. And so what I'm going to do is check these boxes for both. Now I am going to request removal. All right, so I've got both videos here. You can add another one. You could see you could also click that trash and remove it if you want. And then the first thing you're gonna see here is you are gonna do your copyright owner and my channel. You're gonna put your name in here. And then below that, which I'm not gonna show you for privacy, it has my address and would have your address as well. Then once you fill out that part, then you're gonna come here to remove removal options. And then you're going to uh, check either send uh, a seven day notice or a standard removal request. Now, you could look at one of two ways. In this case, that video only has two uh, views. So I'm not really worried. In that case, I'll be nice. I'll give them a seven day notice. And after seven days, it will be removed once. And you'll get an email confirmation, by the way, once you submit this, that Google verified it and they will take the action if you find that you want it removed right away, you're like, no way, I want it removed right now, uh, then after they verify it, then 
that's where you would check that standard request removal now and then you uh, would then uh, they would have that uh, strike immediately against their channel uh, I've had I've done that before and then some email me back hey can you please reach out to Google I'm so sorry but you know uh, people you know should know better than uh, not to, to do that then you have to just check the boxes and then you click submit and you're done and that's it and you'll again you'll get an email confirmation that it's taken care of so those are the steps that you need to do if you want to uh, verify um, one you know as far as uh, checking for copyright and then two you want to then take the proper steps so I hope this video of this is of help if it is greatly appreciate a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber click that subscribe button and if you also want to be uh, alerted click that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos like this one so appreciate your time hope this video is of help we'll see you on the next video take care